Hello, I'm Stevie Moore. Welcome to my studio here at the Artist Attic in Lexington, Kentucky. All right, now I'm going to move in and do some work on the foliage. I'm going to use my fan brush for the first time. You know, see how this works. I'm going to use some of this yellow and green we got left over here. Now I've got a light green. Watch how I use this fan brush now. I'm just going to kind of test it out back here in the background. All right, we're going to use this more powerful green for our foliage up close. And I'm just kind of following how these trees exist back here. Kind of overlap that path down there. I'm just laying in a field of color here. You get some little shadow there. And a little bit that comes out here. Just kind of let those tips fan out on you and just kind of use them to your advantage. Just kind of sprawl them out, shoot them out. A little more richer green down here. And do a similar thing over here on this side. Getting our shadowy areas in. And some more liquid. You want thin paint for this so it rolls right off your paintbrush. There's a tree there, comes up over. Some trees there. Need some white for that. These trees kind of exist right here. We need a lot of white to kind of set them apart. Some of these trees that live here. All right. Okay. Finally, I'm going to get some darker green involved here. Kind of a richer green, mixing some browns and grays with this green. Now I've got my dark green. And I'm going to use that down in here. There's another way you can use the fan brush. You can use it to make lines, fan brush has a lot of uses, but it has to be used properly. You can tell when it's been overused. But I can give the illusion of lots of tree shapes with this dark green. I'm going to add a little ultramarine blue in there too. Liven it up a little bit down here in the darker areas. Remember closer, more contrast. Just remember that C is closer, C is contrast. Use it vertically, and then as a stamping tool, you can also use it to, to mimic foliage. Finally, wipe off your wipe off and wash off your your fan brush a little bit, and then go in. Just get some light greens on there some light greens and some yellows and some white give yourself kind of a nice highlight green mostly white on there some light yellow and that kind of serves as a highlight see that I'm just it's always is a little more effective after your paint is dry but it still works when it's wet. If you don't, if you don't smear it around too much. And yet again, this gives the effect of lots of overlapping leaves. And even down here, we've got a little bit of plant material emerging. A little down in the foreground. Sorry to jump around a little. We're mainly working on the midground here, but other colors are always echoed in other places. Give that a good coverage. You've got a mid, uh, a medium intensity green. You've got a very high intensity greens with the blue in here and the Prussian green. And then finally, a highlight of a very white and yellowy type of green that I just kind of place on there ever so gently. Try to obscure that characteristic fan brush. Look, it's great for moving some paint around.